everybody. Welcome to Badge Banter, where we feature some awesome stories from our incredible partners about the importance of the photo ID badge as the foundation of an organization's overall security efforts. I'm Lindsay Martinez from Badge Fast, and today we have JC Pichon from Evelis joining us. Thank you so much for being here, JC. Hey, Lindsay. Thank you very much for having me. So before we kind of dive into our stories and what we want to talk about for today, why don't you tell us a little bit about Evelis? Yeah, sure. So um, you pronounce it very well, JC Pichon. I know you're practicing your French for an upcoming <laughs> trip, right? That's right, I am. So I'm with Evelis. Evelis, we're a French manufacturer with the largest card printer manufacturer. Uh, so our manufacturing plant is based in France and I'm the key account manager. I'm based in our Fort Lauderdale office where we serve all North America together with our sales team in Providence, Rhode Island. Awesome. So today you and I had kind of discussed that we're going to talk a little bit about K through 12 schools specifically uh, and the importance of the ID badge there. So why don't you kind of kick us off, get us started? Yeah, sure. So, you know, I mean, K to 12, I've been one of my um, one of the main market I've been working on. So when I moved from France to the U.S. back in 2005, one of my first large project was a school district up in the northeast. And we deploy something like 110 printers and why the integrator went with us is at that time we were able to do like some custom integration. So they were able to do inline encoding. And it was really, you know, a great system for the schools. They were going from just nothing to a full visual security, but also all the identification with time and attendance, meal plan, tracking tardiness. And the great thing is that that project that we deployed in 2005, they're still using printers today. So what we see in the network, we see a lot of opportunities for either basic visual identification or some more uh, one card system and full solution for the schools. I love that. I think that that really speaks to the longevity of it. I, I can't tell you how many times I've had conversations about like, well, what's the future of the ID or what does this look like in five years or 10 years? Um, and I mean, that school district's been using them for 20 years. And we have tons of customers that are great examples just like that, that they're not using the same printers they were using 20 years ago, of course. Thankfully, I mean, technology, just like with anything, has evolved when it comes to card printing. But once they're doing that and using that every day, that's an important part of their security process and the systems that they have in place. Yeah, and, and once they start, I mean, they stick with it. So, you know, what we saw, there's a lot of evolution. I mean, one, a, a first entry may be the school photographers, uh, which are going to offer, you know, just a visual ID, which is a great, like, low investment for the schools. But then this is a great first step. But the next steps may be, hey, what you want to do with managing tracking tardiness, time and attendance, meal plans, library, and all that, that's a system that, well, you guys are proposing, for instance, with Batch Pass 1 and the Connect Printer. Yeah, I love that. It, the story never stops with the ID. So we talk about it a lot here, that's where it starts. Um, and I think that it's a cool story because it's an easy way to start with a customer and then build a foundation that they can just continue to grow upon. Yeah, so on, on my personal side, you know what, what I've been working on I mean, we've been working with school district and with uh, system integrators, and we've been working together with BuzzPass for 10 years now. Me and you personally, we've been working for more than seven years. So we have a lot of installs, we have a lot of school district together and many other clients. But what I've been pushing is for my daughter who is in second grade. So two years ago, I really started to work with the principal just to start to have like an ID program. And the, the foundation was, okay, the visual security and also just the identity of the school so that all the kids can have a feeling of belonging to something more. So today they have this visual identification, which is great because you cannot get in into the school if you don't have your badge. If you don't have your badge, you need to go back to the front office and you need to be badged. But the limit of that and what I'm working on with the principal for maybe next year of the following is how can we get more technology into the batch? One of the big things today is with uh, the school bus and the transportation system, because they want to be able to keep track of the kids. And we've been doing a lot of projects where our distributors are working with some of the major school transportation companies so that you can have one ID that you use within the school premises, again, for uh, uh, tracking, entry, um, time and attendance, all, all those stuff, and also for uh, getting into the bus. I think transportation is a, is a key thing there from a security standpoint, and sometimes people overlook it, especially in the security industry, we get so focused on like the doors and everything within a building, um, or the cameras, but the bus, I mean, they're coming and going from that, and that's, I mean, until they're home, like this, 
parents would not consider them safely at their destination or until they're at the school, parents wouldn't consider them totally safe. So parents want more visibility into where their kids are. The district wants more visibility into like, does this person belong and are they on the right bus? I mean, think about it at the beginning of a school year and you're a third grader second grader getting on a bus for the first time and like trying to navigate that and the districts you know the school's got to make sure that they're getting on the right one and being able to embed the appropriate technology to work with whatever system they choose in their badge only brings more value to the id badge that they already have in place it's a no-brainer yeah absolutely and you want to when you think about the older kids what you want to do you want both systems to be linked because you know when the kid is going to be dropped but is he really getting into the school or is he going to go somewhere else no one would do that. What are you talking about? Or, I mean, I told a story earlier on one of these sessions earlier this year. We had a school district, and this was in the news, so this is like public knowledge here in Mississippi, and they had a non-student board a bus, and they weren't doing any type of tracking like that, but their students wore IDs, but they weren't checking them on buses. So this person got flagged when he got to the school, which was good, um, but he was able to get on the bus. If you were doing some type of tracking as people boarded, we would have eliminated that problem altogether right from the get-go. Yeah. So, awesome story. Thank you for thank you for joining me and sharing that today. Say it was great. No, no, was, thank you for having me. Absolutely. It was fun to have you on board. So, and K through 12 schools is something I'm super passionate about, so I could talk about this all day. Yeah. And again, plenty of opportunities when I talk to a lot of people, their kids don't have any badge, so a lot of opportunities out there. Absolutely. Well, thanks again, JC, and join us next time as we take you beyond the badge.